Hi, this is Bob here, the old ham, working on the SS9000 uh, Heath kit here and uh, getting everything together. I've been able to receive signals through it. I can tune signals in. Uh, I found that the controls are work, the pass band controls, the band changing, all of those things are working. And uh, I have completely tested, of course you saw that in the previous video, the uh, PA system. I was sure I had a good set of transistors there in that first video. They, they were marked as being matched transistors and I thought they were going to be fine, but evidently one of them had gone bad before I got this unit. I did have eight transistors I picked up at the Dayton Ham Fest and uh, they were pullouts. Uh, several of those were bad, but I did find two that matched up quite well. And I matched those up with this little bitty Harbor Freight $5 uh, digital voltmeter. <laughs> it's got a transistor testing function that measures HFE uh, for transistors and I put three pieces of number 20 wire in the socket here in the transistor socket and hooked it up with clip leads to the transistors and just laid them out here on this uh, piece of carpet I have. I keep a piece of carpet on the workbench here so I don't uh, scratch up equipment when I work on it. Anyhow uh, the HFE measured uh, right around 10 on a couple of the units. Uh, two of them measured exactly 5 HFE and I put those two in because they were equal and then I uh, hooked up the uh, PA on the test bench here like I showed you in the previous video and uh, ran it for uh, quite a long time with about 20 watts coming out was all I set it up for just to see how the heat was on these transistors. And they heated up to about 110 degrees each which is just fine. I measured the temperature with a uh, portable uh, thermometer, digital thermometer. One of the things that I'm working on here is uh, uh, the little tiny light bulbs. I just worked on those uh, for, the, uh, for the meter had burned out. So I got some ultrabyte LEDs on, on eBay. I think it was like $1.95 and you get uh, 15 of them or something. And uh, anyhow, I put two of those with uh, two 1,000 ohm resistors here so they don't draw too much current. I measured the current at uh, 10 mils per, uh, 10 mils per uh, uh, bulb. The, uh, the little LEDs, I'm going to put the uh, close-up lens on here. The little LEDs, uh, there we go, drew 10 mils of current with the, with the uh, 1000 ohm resistor on. Here I'm showing you the unit lit up here from the front. Looks really nice. And uh, here's the two LEDs I put in there. And you can see the two resistors. I got a little piece of uh, insulated tubing off a piece of wire there on the other wire on the LED. Remember the long wire on the LED is a plus, the short wire is the minus. These LEDs here had a real hot spot of light on the meter. They two bright hot spots. So what I did I held the LEDs up against the grinding wheel for just a short time and flattened the end of the LEDs and this caused the light to diffuse and spread out. So that made it light up really nice like that. So that's going to work just fine there in the SS9000. This SS9000 is probably going to sit now for quite a while because I do not have the vacuum fluorescent display for the front. The one that's in there is cracked. Uh, they don't make them anymore. I have not been able to find one. So I'm just going to set it aside and see if I can find one someplace in a ham fest or something or just keep nosing around until I find one. So it may be months now before I put this uh, thing on the air and check it all out because I have no way of, uh, of reading the uh, frequency or anything without that vacuum fluorescent display. So with that, uh, we'll wish uh, you fellas uh, good DX and uh, 73s.